Hey guys, welcome to another Mully video guide. Uh, today we're doing Sona as support, which is really all that Sona can play. But it's been a while since I've done a support video, so so all you support players that have been looking forward to this, here you go. This is for you. Alright, so um, since this is a, not a pre-made team, we didn't have any discussion about invading or whatnot, so I did start Fairy Charm and Wards. Uh, if you're invading, it's okay to start boots, but um, just for these purposes, since we're going straight to lane, I'm going to go ahead and simply start Fairy Charm and Wards. Um, I like to get a pink ward instead of four green wards, just because sometimes that pink ward can give you a really, really high early advantage, and um, and can give you give your jungler easy ganks early on. Because a lot of time that's hard to do, bot lane, because uh, bot lane is usually always warded. But with a pink ward, you can set that up pretty nicely. So we just saw them right here. It looks like they might do some sort of weird invade. Maybe go around this way. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, as far as runes and masteries go, on runes, um, I kind of run a weird rune page on Sona just because I have one rune page for supports. And it's two movement speed quints, one armor quint, armor reds, armor yellows, and magic just per level blues. Uh, usually I tend to play supports like Blitz and Taric and Alistair and Leona, which that page is normally set for. But since I only have one page, I use it for these uh, squishier supports as well. But gold, gold per five, quints and runes are also perfectly viable. You always want armor res, but the yellows and quints can be replaced with uh, with gold per five stuff. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and start Q since I really just need to do some damage here, help him move out as much as possible, and then we're just gonna go ahead and go to our lane. Uh, one of the main things you want to focus on in Sona is uh, her early harass. Early game harass, Sona does almost as much damage as the ADs do. And so it's really, really good to have, uh, to get Q first and be able to harass effectively. That's where Sona is really strong, especially against melee supports. So you just want to get in that harass whenever you can. Alright, their jungler is Shivana, so there could be a level 2 gank. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, no one usually level 2 ganks bot, but I'm going to go ahead and ward anyways. Usually if I don't have a ward to place, Alright, apparently we didn't get Nunu there, I'm not sure how we didn't get Nunu, but apparently we didn't. I went and got my heal at level 2 just because we took a lot of damage and I, I usually always get heal at level 2 anyway, it's just really useful. Um, depending on how the lane is going, like if, if your lane ends up taking a lot of damage, um, and it's a lane that's going to be hard for you to win, it's probably better to max heal. But uh, in, a, in a lane where you can win very easily and put out lots of damage, it's probably better to max uh, Q. So you just really want to keep that in mind when you're deciding what to max. So I think because it's Draven, I'm going to go ahead and max heal first. Uh, if we end up winning the lane, though, I'll, I'll, switch to, uh, I'll switch to maxing Q. I'm seeing his house Nunu. I have to be really careful with Nunu's snowball because his slow plus Draven's uh, ability to chase is going to be really strong. So I've just got to make sure I'm aware of that. I should be okay. But we'll just have to see. All right, so I'm going to go try and put in some harass on Nunu. zone him out from getting XP. And this is one of the key things you want to do with support is zone. Like right now, if there's only one of them in the lane, I can stand up here and put out free damage on them. 
and zone them out from getting experience and gold. And that's pretty much my job right now. That hardly did any damage. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point in uh, Sona's speed boost. Um, another thing you want to focus on is with Sona is her power cords. Um, if you read her passive, it's uh, after casting three spells, her next attack deals bonus damage and adds an additional effect based on the current aura you have active. So you want to be aware of that and time it at all, at all times possible. To do maximum damage. Oh, and I forgot to say, like I said at the beginning of all my video guys, this skin. They release this skin, and it is just too good. I hardly even play support, but I had to buy this skin. It is fantastic. If you main support and you don't have this skin, it is it is definitely a must-buy. Alright, so yeah, it's hard to trade earlier with Draven, but uh, I think I think we came out alright with that. And Ezreal did just now get a Phage, so that'll help quite a lot when dealing with Draven. So I finished my Philosopher Stone pretty early, which is good. That's always the nice thing about um, getting an early killer assist in your lane, is being able to finish those Gulper 5s early. Um, basically, depending on how many kills and assists I get, in the uh, in the next few minutes will depend on if I get Heart of Gold next or Boots. Usually you want to get Boots in between your two um, Gold for Fives because you don't want to be vulnerable to the other team having Boots, especially against a Nunu because your movement speed will be so low. You want to make sure you have Boots so you uh, so they don't just chase you down and dominate you. So. Tax is going man mode. Got him. Alright, so as you can see, Sona's damage is pretty high. I went balls deep there just knowing that I could put out that kind of damage. Because Ezreal was low. See, normally you don't want to get kills to support, but Ezreal was low and couldn't go back in. So me doing that there was, was perfectly fine. Ezreal said scumbag Sona, but he's just kidding. He's my friend, so. Many of you probably know Tex by now. Alright, so now that I have my ult, I think now that we're winning so much, I'm going to start maxing Q instead of, uh, instead of heal. Just because of how much we're winning. So now I have tons of gold, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get Heart of Gold. Just because having both those gold profiles before 10 minutes is huge on supports. Absolutely huge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then... I'm going to go ahead and wait around for another ward. Um, as support, it's okay to sit around and wait for a little bit of gold because your gold income per second has increased heavily because of the gold per fives. So if you have a couple gold per fives and you need to wait on like 30, 40 gold, that's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Hezreal needs to be careful down there without me. Alright, so this game's going pretty well. I'm kind of afraid that the game's going to end early. And I'm not going to get to show you the full build, but usually hardly ever get to any sort of significant build on supports anyway, because usually you don't get very many kills. So, uh, it's not really a big deal. So we're just going to continue to try and keep up harass. This 
he, Dra this Draven's really greedy with his harass, and so I can just throw it all back onto him. That flying snowball. So yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to go back to Max and Q because, uh, because of how far we are ahead now. Oh, that's real. Apparently my ult didn't go off. Or didn't, uh... My exhaust isn't reaching him right now. No, Kenan, don't do it. Uh, all right, so that was really close. Uh, Ezreal did get a kill though, and Draven didn't, so we we definitely won that exchange. So that's perfectly fine, and I have enough to get boots. All right, so now I got tons of wards, boots, and we'll go So this is like, believe it or not, this is really the basic build for supports. So this is fine. Um, I'm probably gonna end up getting Lucidity boots on Sona just because having um, the cooldown reduction on her is really, really valuable because you can spam your abilities quicker. See, like as you can see right there, if I would have had some sort of cooldown reduction, then I would have been able to kill Nunu very easily. Sorry for the stutter there. All right, so now that I have a surplus of wards, a good bit of money, and my gold profiles are set, I'm just gonna look to ward everything. I'm going to ward Dragon and Try at all times, because those are like the two main spots you want to ward as support. You always want to have Dragon and Try Brush warded on either side, really. So I'm going to go ahead and ward those. This enables you to be safe from anything except for a lane gank. Oh yeah, he's he's eating it. Good shit. So that was a really good job by us there. This Draven's just really too greedy with his harass and it's just biting him. So we see Shivana is at Wraiths, so we can be aggressive. No. Didn't mean to take that tower shot. Oh well. You always want to have your Q aura up whenever you're taking towers because that's real or because your AD wants to be able to take the tower down faster, so. Um, and it gives them bonus AD when you do it. I guess it would be a good thing to talk about the skills. Um, your aura for your Q gives bonus AD. Your aura for your heal um, gives bonus defenses. And your aura for um, this gives extra movement speed, and then obviously the um, they give the bonus bonus. Uh, the Q does damage and gives um, bonus attack damage. The heal heals and gives bonus defenses, and the E gives a burst of speed and uh, increased speed all around. I wasn't sure if, uh, if Tax was going to die or not, and so I didn't want that kill to go away, but... Oh well. It happens with Sona. You, end, you take a lot of kills with Sona. It's not a bad thing. kind of is, but it'll be okay. It helps It helps me show you guys full build. Alright, so I'm probably going to look to get uh, Shrill. I like to build Aegis quickly on a lot of supports, but I think f since it's... I like to do that on melee supports. So for for ranged um, supports like Sonus or Akajana, I think Shirelius is better to get first. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this because I already have two wards saved up, and then just go back to lane. We're we're super powerful now. Like, there's not much that can stop me and Ezreal at this point. 
So I'm continuing to max Q because we're ahead in lane, and I want to do that damage, and it's maxed. Now I'm definitely going to max heal second. You always want to max E last, just because uh, it's very useful, but it weighs less than the other two when it comes to um, what each spell does. So... So even though the lane is over, I'm still going to ward these two spots because regardless of us being in lane or not, those spots are still very valuable. But it looks like now, since we're up so much, we can uh, we can just group and push towers, and we should be completely fine. We're getting converged on. Alright, well that kind of hurt. Ezreal... Alright, so we were able to get him, which is really good. This is just us being really far ahead. Oh, that Nidalee Spear. Doing big damage. What in God's name? Alright, so that Siobhan is really, really squishy. I'm not sure why. She's not very far into her build, so... Alright, right now is when I would want to ward their jungle, but I don't have any wards. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go back and get some. Let my team know that I'm going back and grabbing some wards. Because now that we have control of the map, it's it's really important when you have map control as a support to um, to ward the entire jungle and uh, and keep that map control. So like I said, we're still going to look to finish Shirelius first. Going to get into that Kindle gem soon. And now that laning phase is over, like I said, um, my job as support is really to just uh, throw out the auras that need that need to be there in team fights, uh, throw out heals when they need to be pretty much on cooldown in a team fight. You want to just spam your abilities as Sona because each one benefits in a different way. So I'm just here helping out a Mumu. Giving him some heals. Alright, so now I'm just going to walk around and get some good ward coverage. And once I have um, 795 gold, I'm going to go back, finish my Kindle Gym, and get an Oracles. Alright, so I probably didn't need to exhaust there, but I'm just used to, uh, I'm just used to our team not being this fed. So that's why I went ahead and wasted exhaust. Alright, so I'm going to continue to just uh, get this jungle control. Put a ward there so I can see if they enter this way. And then put a ward right here in their bush. See if they enter that way. So now I have complete control over this side of the jungle. And Ezreal is so deep right now. Oh, Darius! I thought, it was, I thought we were going deep, dude! Alright, so we did get Darius a kill, but that was that was us being a bit greedy there. Being a bit greedy. I think a Moomoo's going to be able to get that kill. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get both. Just going to go ahead and finish this. Don't have enough for Oracle, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy more wards for that map control. Um, normally, that would have not been 
good, but since we are so far ahead, it's kind of okay. D Darius hesitated a little bit. He c we could have killed Shivana before the rest of her team got there, but it's honestly not a huge deal. We should be fine overall. All right, so yeah, they, they surrendered like I assumed they would. Uh, but pretty much the build I have right now is pretty much the build that you're going to uh, that you're going to end up with at the end of games anyway. You really won't get much farther than that. I had Shirelia's Heart of Gold boots and wards. Like I said, if you get as far ahead as I did, if it would have got to the point where the game was a little more even, I would have bought an Oracles because you always want to buy Oracles when you're ahead because it helps you stay ahead. It's a really good snowball item. Basically, uh, after that, I would have just built, you know, standard support items, Aegis, Zeke's, um, Soul Shroud, I, uh, Lock of the Iron Solari, things like that. Just items to help out your team. So, um, as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully now you have a little better idea of how to play Sona uh, and what to do when you're fed as Sona, as I was there. Um, you can check this uh, video out at www.doublebuff.net or on my YouTube channel, which, um, if you're on doublebuff.net, it is youtube.com slash mullylol. And, um, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.